In this tutorial, we are going to go through addition of three digit numbers and hundreds using the vertical format. So let's start with a nice easy example. What is 475 plus 300? 475 plus 300. Now in the vertical format, the first thing we do is write these numbers down in columns. So let's do that. 475 plus 300. We can label the columns. First one is units. The next one is tens, and the third one is hundreds. And as with the, any addition or subtraction, we always start with the column on the right hand side. So let's do that. What is 5 plus 0? Nice and easy. 7 plus 0, and the hundreds column, 4 plus 3 is 7. That was nice and easy, wasn't it? 475 plus 300 is 775. Now let's look at the second one. What is 648 plus 400? Let's write these down in the vertical format. Six hundred and forty eight plus four hundred. Let's label them again units, tens, and hundreds. So let's start with the column on the right hand side. Eight plus zero is eight. Four plus zero is four. The hundreds column. 6 plus 4 is 10. How do we write that down? We write it down like this. This one becomes part of the new column. What is the new column called? We've got units, tens, hundreds. This one is the thousands. There are no thousands here, no thousands here, but there is one here. We could even put a little comma down there just to separate the thousands from the hundreds. The only reason we put the comma down is that it makes it easier to read. 648 plus 400 is 1048. Let's do one more. What is 734 plus 900? Now don't be afraid of the larger numbers. The same principles apply. So let's go through this. 734 plus 900. We start with the right hand side. 4 plus 0 is 4. 3 plus 0 is 3. 7 plus 9 is 16. Put one here and six here. That one is part of the thousands column. So 734 plus 900 is 1634. Nice and easy, nothing difficult in any of that. So that is the addition of three digit numbers and hundreds using the vertical format.